Welcome to Sunday School, boys and girls. We've got a really fun morning planned. We've got, um, we're going to be learning some new songs, and we have a craft and a verse and a Bible story, but first we're going to start off by singing good news. Good, good news, news, good news, Christ died for me. Good news, good news, as I believe. Good news, good news, I'm saved eternally. That's wonderful, extra good news. Let's sing that one more time. Good news, good news, Christ died for me. Good news, good news, if I believe. Good news, good news, I'm saved eternally. That's wonderful, extra good news. Very good, we're going to sing. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice. 
place and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the lord hath made we will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this is the day that the lord hath made let's sing let the lord have his way let the Lord have his way in your life every day. There's no rest, there's no peace until the Lord has his way. Place your life in his hand, rest secure in his plan. Let the Lord, let the Lord have one we're gonna learn a new one starts with thou art a wonderful god thou art a wonderful god thou art a wonderful god thou made us the mountains thou made us the sea thou made us the song that's to fly over me thou art a wonderful god thou art a wonderful god thou madest the night time thou madest the days thou causest my tongue to keep singing this phrase thou art a wonderful god thou art a wonderful god thou madest all men and they broke in thy laws thou sendest thy son to redeem us in cause Thou art a wonderful God, Thou art a wonderful God. O oh, cause us to tell Thy thine story and then look to the sky for His sailing again. Thou art a wonderful God, Thou art a wonderful God. All right, boys and girls, now it's time for our memory verse. We're going to be learning Ephesians 6, 1 today. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. All right, now you say it. What's that? I think it's Richie. 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 Richie, wake up. Richie. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? What you doing? We're going over the memory verse. Oh, what's the memory verse? The memory verse is Ephesians 6, 1. Have you heard it before? Ephesians 6? Verse 1. Why is he sick? Ephesians 6. It's a number. Oh, oh Ephesians 6. Verse, verse 1. one. Yes, have you heard it before? Ah, uh, let me think. It's about children. Children, obey your parents in the in the Lord, for this is might. No, not quite. For this is it rhymes with might. Sight. No. No. <laughs> for this Height. is. Right. Right, 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 right. 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 I this remember is now. Right. So do you think you can say it from the beginning again? Uh, Where is it found? Ephesians. Ephesians is six. Verse. Ephesians is six. Verse one. No, Ephesians no. chapter six. The number. Ephesians chapter six. Verse one. Yes. Children. Obey. Obey. Who? Authority. More specifically? Police officers. Well, yeah, but that's Fire not Firefighters. No. no. Space commanders. Who did God put the head of your home? Um, a head of my home? Who cleans your house and works every day so that you have a house? Mom! 
and mom and mother. Your mom and dad. Mommy. Your parents. Your parents. Your parents. Children obey your parents. Children obey your parents. In the in the Lord. For for this is might. For, for this, this is, is right. right. Oh, that's right. For this yeah. is right. Ephesians six one. Okay, let's say it from the top one more time. Ready? We'll say it with you. Okay. From the Ready? top. From the top. Yes, from the top. All right, here I go. No, 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 no. <laughs> from. Oh, I'm sorry. From the sorry. Top. From the beginning of the verse. Ready? From the beginning of the verse. Yes. yes. Ready? Ephesians, Ephesians 6. six one, uh, why are you saying it? Oh, I thought you guys were going no, to do it. you're saying it with us. Ready? Ephesians 6, verse, verse, verse one. 1. Children, obey, obey your, your, parents your parents in the Lord. In the Lord. For, this For this is right. right. Very good, good job. Richie. Sorry to wake you up. Oh, well, that's okay. We can... I, I was just taking a nap. Okay, well, yeah. we'll let you go back to bed. But I'm getting a little bit late here. I It's time for my second nap of the day. Okay, okay. well, you go have your second nap. It's my Sunday nap. We're going to go sing. I am a true Baptist. We're going to sing some more songs with the boys and girls. Wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. All right, here we go. <laughs> Gonna open the door first. All right, now we're gonna sing I'll Be a Sunbeam. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. In every way, try to please him at home, at school, at play. A sunbeam, a sunbeam. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam, a sunbeam, a sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. Okay, now we're going to sing Jesus is Caring for You. Don't be afraid, Jesus is watching you in the dark night. He is protecting you, talk to the Lord. Ask him to make you brave, Jesus will hear when you pray. Jesus is caring for you, Jesus is helping you too. Jesus is always there keeping you for he loves you. Jesus is caring for you. Jesus is helping you too. Jesus is with you whatever you do. You're not alone. Jesus is there with you. He can't be seen. But he is there. It's true. He is your friend. He'll keep you in his hair. He goes with you everywhere. Jesus is caring for you. Jesus is helping you too. Jesus is always there keeping you for. He loves you. Jesus is caring for you. Jesus is helping you too. Jesus is with you whatever you do. I feel like we weren't alone. Yeah, me too. I, I like someone was singing with us. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I guess oh, well. not. Now we're going to go see Pastor Burns and Emma do a craft about the Ten Commandments. Hey boys and girls, we're here at the church today for our craft. Emma's with me and we are going to uh, color this picture, create this craft. This is a, a craft of Moses when Moses received the Ten Commandments. 
Now remember, boys and girls, when we read about the Ten Commandments in the Bible, they're there to show us that we are sinners and that we need a Savior. Jesus is the one that came to this world, died for our sin, to give us eternal life. And the Ten Commandments prove to us that we have broken the law of God, that we are sinners. So this is a fun craft, and we're going to walk you through it. So you got to follow along, but first we're going to start coloring. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Okay, so this is all color, and then let's show everyone our picture. So you can be, uh, you can be as creative as you, as you want to be. Uh, this is Moses with the Ten Commandments, and this is um, the, uh, the glory of God that is on display. So this is a lot of fun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut out Moses, and we're going to cut this line straight here. We're going to cut up and down. Remember that you need a parent's help when you're using scissors. Um, we don't have any glue today, but we're going to use a stapler instead. It'll do the same thing. Okay, so we're going to start cutting. So we're going to cut this line right here. We're going to cut straight up on the dotted line. So here we go. Just like that. Now this is going to be our section here we're going to be looking at that in just a moment now emma let's cut out moses so now you're going to take your scissors again use um be very cautious ask your parents to help you so we're going to cut out moses here and again you just follow the dotted line be very careful when it comes to scissors because they're sharp and they can hurt you A lot of different turns here on Moses. There we go. So here's Moses. How's it going, Emma? This is garbage. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to fold it. It'll, there's a fold line and then there's a cut line. So we're going to fold it on the solid line, which will be... Basically, we're going to fold it in half, just like this. And then we're going to take our scissors, and we're going to cut the two dotted lines. So you're just going to slice the one dotted line and the second dotted line, just like that. How are you doing there? She's doing good. She's a professional. She's done so many crafts with us that now she, she's an expert. We've done something like this before. I forget the craft. But we've, we've done a craft just like this. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've done this when we did the craft with the armor of God. We did this, this idea. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold the top piece up like this. So you're going to fold that piece, and then you're going to fold the bottom piece straight across like so. And then you're going to fold these two pieces in. So we folded them out to cut. Now we're going to fold them the other direction. And so you're going to get something like this. How is it going? So we open it up now. Very good. And now we fold this in like so. We fold this in like so. And then we fold straight across and then straight across. So then we have something like that. What you're going to do is we're going to glue Moses on this piece right here. There's a little picture of glue 
uh, it looks like a baby bottle actually. We don't have any glue with us today. We're gonna use a stapler. A stapler would work just as well. So you're gonna take Moses and you're gonna just put a couple of staples right like that. Do you want me to do it for you? We'll do the same with Emma's. So a little bit of glue there will hold them or just a couple of staples, just like that. And now we are done. And this is our craft. This is Moses getting the Ten Commandments from God. And it looks great. Emma, I love the blue and I love the flowers. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to color my flowers. It's a good thing you're on top of things. She's got the flowers colored and the blue and Moses looks great. He did a great job. All right, boys and girls, you can do this craft at home. Just go to kitchenerbaptist.org backslash children. You can download the PDF, print it out, color it, cut it, and put it together. All right, Emma, we should say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Now we're going to sing one more song before Mr. Mara does the lesson this morning. Um, the Days of Creation to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. Did you know God made the light? He made the light. Did you know God made the light? He made the light. Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the light? He made the light. Did you know God made the sky? He made the sky. Did you know God made the sky? He made the sky. Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the sky? He made the sky. Did you know God made the plants and grass and trees? Did you know God made the plants and grass and trees? Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the plants and grass and trees? Did you know God made the fishes and the birds? Did you know God made the fishes and the birds? Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the fishes and the birds? Did you know God made the sun and moon and stars? Did you know God made the sun and moon and stars? Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the sun and moon and stars? Did you know God made the animals and me? Did you know God made the animals and me? Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the animals and me? Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Sunday School. We're going to be reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 20 today. We're going through a familiar passage of scripture called the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20. And there's going to be one commandment I'm going to give to you that I want you to try to live in your life as children today, okay? And this begins in Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee over the land of Egypt, or the host of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days that shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. 
Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Now, this is the one I want you guys to focus on this morning. It is honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be along upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Do you know what God wants you to do as children? He wants you to honor thy father and mother. And you say, what does it mean to honor thy father and mother? Well, it means to obey them. But it means more than that. It means to obey with the right attitude and spirit. When mom and dad give you instructions to do things around the home, you ought to do them happily. Knowing that you're doing it, not just so that you won't get in trouble, but that you're doing it so that you can please God. Do you know that you please God when you honor your parents? When you do that which is right? When your parents give you a task or, or, or duty as a child, whatever it may be, it may be just as simple as putting out the garbage it might be as simple as go get a bottle of water for your sister or brother. All these little things are very important in God's sight. God gave us commandments, not just to have rules, but he gave them so that we would treat each other properly. And as children, the way you treat your parents properly is by honoring them, doing what they ask of you. So this week, boys and girls, when you are at home and you're wondering what God wants me to do, start by honoring your parents. Yes, you obey the rules they give you, you do the little things, but think of things that you can do without being asked, like cleaning up your room, or maybe just doing the dishes, or that mess over in the corner that you see instead of thinking well I don't have to clean up that do it right away without being asked and maybe your mom and dad won't even notice what you're doing around the house those little things that you start doing that clean up to help and, and honor your parents and you're going to think to yourself well if they don't see me there's no benefit to it I'm here to tell you there is a benefit to it the Bible says that thy days may be long upon the earth, you are to honor your father and mother. You're more apt to have a long life on this earth if you treat your parents right. That is what God promises. This is his first commandment with promise, the Bible says. God wants you today to honor your parents. Think of little things you can do around the house to be a blessing. When you and your sister get in a disagreement, Instead of arguing to get your way or ending up in a fight, say, you know what? You have it. This isn't worth fighting for. I want to be a blessing to God. I want to honor my parents. I don't want to be the troublemaker. All these things are important to God. And in all these ways, you can honor your father and mother. It's just a simple commandment but as a commandment of great promise. And it's one of the greatest things that you could ever do in your life is to honor your parents by just doing what you know you're supposed to do. And God will bless you for it. All right, we're going to sing one last song. This is a new song, so listen and see if you can sing along. Love, love, L-O-V-E, love, love, boundless and free, Jesus left heaven to die on that tree, this was love, 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 done, done, D-O-N-E, done, done, done perfectly, finished Christ. Cried when on Calvary he died, so it's done. 
Dan, Dan, come, come, see your Emmy. Come, come, come unto me. Jesus receives whosoever believes when they come, come, come. Mine, mine. Jesus came from above to be mine, mine, mine. All right, boys and girls. Well, that was our program for today. Hope you had a lot of fun, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was good. I love doing Sunday school. Well, I better get ready for church now. Hi, my name is Mitchie. My friends call me Mitchie. You can call me Mitchie, too, if you want. Oh, uh, hi, Mitchie. What you doing? I'm looking for Richie. Have you seen him? Uh, no, I think he went to go have a nap. Oh, okay. What you doing? Uh, we, we just finished doing Sunday school. Have you ever been to Sunday school? Nope. Oh, you should come again next week. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Well, nice talking to you, Mitchie. Nice talking to you, too. Okay. Bye. See you next week. See ya.